Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a real quick pick a card reading. And so this one is going to be on someone that you have a soul connection with, but you had an issue and a challenge. Maybe you're even in separation and you want to know what is their biggest regret when it comes to you and what has happened between the two of you. So the timestamps you guys will be down below. So there's going to be a quick one. Everything will be listed too, as far as what I'm using. So if you've chosen number one, you guys, this is what your person's biggest regret is when it comes to you and this connection. We have the chariot, okay? So you could be dealing with a cancer or you could be a cancer or something could have happened in Cancerian season, which would have been the, uh, you know, the last end, uh, or I'm sorry, the last part of June going into as in current time, mid-July. So this could be pretty recent for some of you guys. This could be a lot of stuff that's happening right now. Um, I'm also getting that it could be a choice, okay? Somebody has chosen to go in another uh, path, like they've chosen to go to the dark side versus going into the light, or they've chosen between you and another person. So this could be a third party. All right. So let's go ahead and get another topic here. Oh, we have voodoo doll imitation mimic and copycat. It's interesting here because some of you guys might feel that someone has copied you as in another person in this third party situation. Cause we do have three figures here. Um, it could be that someone you feel has, um, is trying to mimic you, trying to replace you. Um, there's somebody that, or maybe even you feel like your person has maybe uh, try to mimic or copy your connection or your situation with another person and you just feel stabbed in the back at this point. There might even be just like this energy here where someone feels perhaps that they, they might even feel cursed because of what they've done. They might literally feel like things are not going well now that they've made this choice or this decision. And so they could even feel like there's something going on where you're doing something or you're wishing them ill or, or bad because things are falling apart. So I feel like there's definitely regret because now they feel cursed. They feel cursed with their decisions. <laughs> it's very interesting energy. All right. And oh my God, the seven of swords, you guys, I'm telling you, the cards don't lie. First of all, we have two sevens. That is July's energy. So I mean, today is July 1st. And so depending on when I post this reading, hopefully this will make sense to you guys. But the seven of swords somebody's lying, somebody cheated, somebody did you dirty. So I mean, somebody is really getting theirs <laughs> for trying to uh, do something here. So it, does this person feel regret? What's their biggest regret? Their biggest regret is that they screwed with the wrong person. Their biggest regret is that because they went into this kind of counterfeit type of an energy, now they're being tormented in their mind for the choices that they've made. They've made a wrong turn. They made the wrong decision. And so they're having to kind of like sit in their shit and they're sitting there with like that little ragged uh, kitty cat doll and they, they just have like these uh, needles now in them. So <laughs> they're in pain. I'm gonna tell you that you guys, this person's in pain because they tried to do something that was not on the up and up when it came to you in this situation. So do they have regret? I'm getting, they certainly do. And they currently have regret because this is cancer in season and we have seven, which is July. So I hope that helped some of you out there with whatever situation you guys are going through. If that didn't resonate, you guys can pick either two or three. All right, you guys, if you chose number two, let's go ahead and get your message. Does your person feel regret? Are they going through any kind of, um, you know, negative cycles in their life because of what's happened between the two of you? Because we do have the fool and the fool is very carefree. The fool is somebody who's just kind of like, you know, unconventional. They're just going on their own merry way. They're just kind of almost very careless. So it's not to guarantee that they don't feel bad, but I'm getting that vibe that this person is just kind of like doing their own thing giant beast, a domination, helpless, and victim. I feel like they don't want to be helpless anymore. They may have, of course, done something to you that caused you to feel um, helpless. They may have victimized you in some way. Um, but I feel like maybe this person is not wanting to stay stuck in this energy with you. So they could have just literally left. They could have just basically went off and they're just off right now. And they're trying to disconnect from whatever the situation is with you because they don't want to feel either consequences or deal with something. Yeah, see, they did take you for granted. Okay, this is the Six of Pentacles. This person simply just cannot give to you in the way that you deserve and they know that. 
that, okay? And they have some big issues now to deal with within themselves. And so I feel like this person, rather than turning around and apologizing to you, they do realize that they took you for granted, but they're still not ready with that six of pentacles to kind of ex like to give you or offer you. They're decayed right now. They're too decayed in their own energy to be able to come towards you and apologize for victimizing you. So it doesn't mean that this person isn't sorry. It just means that they're too decayed right now and they need to find themselves before they can even address this issue with you to even apologize. I do feel like perhaps that there's other things that they're going through or have gone through that have kind of victimized them. So I do feel like this person has gotten some sort of karma, but they're still learning. It's still not a complete cycle yet. So if you did cho choose number two, it seems like this person is still kind of getting theirs and they're still kind of trying to put the pieces together and find themselves. And until this process is somewhat complete, you may not hear from this person or you might just kind of take it as they don't give a crap, but I just feel like they've got some learning to do. And until they do that, you might not feel like you've get you've gotten some closure or feel like there's justice that has been served. So I don't know, you guys, number two is a little, you know, 50-50, all right? So let's go ahead and go into number three. If you chose number three, does your person feel any kind of regret about what's happened between the two of you? Okay, well, we have the sun's energy. And so, of course, the sun um, could be an indication here that you're dealing with um, a Leo, okay? there's This could be something about uh, the month of August, which August is, you know, Leo's month. So there could be something that's upcoming with that energy. It could be that your person has seen the light. Things have been illuminated for them. So they do see the error of their ways. This could also mean that your person is just kind of trying to be happy. And so that might mean that if they feel too heavy in your energy or talking to you or trying to work things out, if they are staying away, that could be the reason why is because they don't really want to deal with any kind of, um, you know, fighting or depression. So let's see what else. Okay, so we have ghost, medium, mediumship, and communication. So the fact that we have communication here, but it is coming through spirits. So this tells me here that you and this person are probably not talking in a 3D sense. So they might be having conversations with you in their mind. They might be trying to gather up, you know, just some sort of peace or try to figure out what they want to do when it comes to moving forward with communication. So I kind of feel like there could be communication on the horizon in the um, eighth month of August. That's what I'm kind of feeling here too. They might be just kind of trying to sense what their spirit is saying versus what their ego is saying. Sometimes Leo can be connected with ego. And we have the Eight of Decay. Yeah, for now, I'm seeing here with this Eight of Pentacles, they don't necessarily want to work on this connection right now. But do you see that, you guys? What did I say? The eighth month. There's something about the eighth month here, August, that I really feel like there may be some sort of communication that they may decide at that time to you know to just start to move in the direction of trying to work this relationship or whatever has happened between the two of you out for now they've just decided to abandon this ship and not work on this connection with you with eight of pentacles but in the meantime they're just going to kind of sit in their energy try to gain some sort of clarity and try to just kind of be happy in the meantime but think about what they want to communicate with you um, in the future. So that's why this right here is in the future. It looks like they may want to reconcile with you. They may want to work this out. But in the meantime, they're just kind of trying to be happy and positive and they might associate dealing with your uh, situation right now uh, as something that might stress them out and take them out of their sunny disposition. So this to me is kind of like a wait and see for number three. I hope that you guys enjoy that small little reading. Take care. Bye-bye.